Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Tuesday afternoon here in the Eastern Time Zone of the USA. It's time for Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff. I'm Tim K3LR, and Jeff is tied up on the phones today. He's talking to one of our customers, one of our important customers, because every customer is important. And of course, you know, it, when somebody calls in and has a problem, we're going to take as much time as it takes to go through the problem or to go through the question. And this time of year, a lot of the things are about field day. You know, it's a what coax, what antenna. And one of the things about field day is antenna analyzers. And here is the AA230 Zoom, which is one of my favorite antenna analyzers. This is from Rig Expert the AA230 Zoom. And of course, the 230 means that it, it will work up to 230 megahertz. And uh, th this is a, a great piece of gear. But you know what? If you hook this up to an antenna that has been around static lightning, static discharges, you can wipe it out. So one of the things that you want to do before you hook up your antennas to any antenna analyzer is use a little jumper clip and short it to ground. Take that static discharge energy, put it to ground, and then you won't blow up the analyzer. And it does happen because in our service department, <laughs> we get antenna analyzers that did not have the static discharge done beforehand, just short it to ground. Short it to ground and things will work so much better. So that is a tip for today. Uh, antenna analyzers, make sure you short to ground the energy, all the static discharge. Because this time of year, I mean, up here in the northern hemisphere, there are storms and they're static. And the static is energy and it can wipe out one of these analyzers very, very quickly. Uh, when when I was in Germany in 2018 for WRTC, several rig expert analyzers wiped out because of static energy that was on the antennas. Ferrite is your friend. And, and you know, when a ferrite's got paint on it, it's from DX Engineering. And when it's blue, that means it's number 31 ferrite. And this is the most popular ferrite for taking care of problems on the HF bands. And so number 31 ferrite is your friend. Uh, it can fix lots of RFI issues. RFI that may be affecting your shack, may be affecting your neighbors. Uh, we're right in the, in the process now of making some filters for a neighbor's new LED light. And uh, actually a couple of lights. But number 31 ferrite takes care of that. Number 31 ferrite, always painted, so you know what the mix is. Blue is number 31. Go to the DX Engineering site. When you put in ferrite, there's a nice chart that shows the various mixes. This takes care of RFI. Very, very important. What else is important? Hey, CQ Magazine. Here's May CQ Magazine. That's important because CQ Magazine is one of the pillars of amateur radio and the uh there's great articles in here but then when you want to go to my favorite magazine qst and in here are great articles one one of the uh articles that is in the july issue of qst which you you will be getting soon on page 13 page 13 is the member spotlight member spotlight on page 13. And here is one of DX Engineering's own, Wayne KFF, and his daughter, Amy, N8AMY. And Wayne is one of the sales team associates here at DX Engineering. Great guy. And Amy, a great ambassador, part of the Portage County Amateur Radio Service. And, she, and uh, together, they're the one two punch father and daughter. Member Spotlight. July QST, check it out, great stuff. Let's see who's in the uh, chat room today. 
let's see what what's going on in the chat uh we're all getting ready for field day dayton 2022 in the past 2023 coming up soon uh here we go we've got victor kilo one doc delta oscar november <laughs> it's it's the middle of the night <laughs> in australia so uh dawn great to have you on and uh let's see we've got uh mike mowry ke3 juliet papa mike hello to you whiskey charlie eight hotel is on and whiskey nine papa papa yankee and uh let's see let's see we've got oscar zulu four papa alpha tango on from denmark nice to have you on george and uh let's see here Bob the Traveler says he's got an AA35. So the AA35 is good to 35 megahertz, which is great for all the HF bands, right? All the way up through 10 meters. And uh, Jeff Tobin, uh, great to have you on, Jeff. And uh, let's see here. We've got Kilo Lima Zero Sierra and his wife, Toby. Kilo Lima Zero Sierra Sierra. And Kilo Yankee for November Quebec is on as well. And uh, Victor Kilo One Delta Oscar November says it's 3.20 a.m. in Australia. And he's watching us here on YouTube and Facebook. And uh, KC3 Fox Uniform November is on. And uh, Dan, WA4 Mike Oscar Mike, hello and good afternoon. I've got a Rig Expert 230 from DX Engineering. It works great. What a time saver, and thanks for the tip. Yeah, I mean, Dan, you, you don't want this thing to die. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, th this becomes like your right hand, and uh, you certainly, the, the static electricity can blow out the front end in a hurry. Andy is on 2 Echo Zero Radio Echo Echo. And uh, always nice to have you on from the UK. And, uh, geez, you know, one of the great things about this time of year is sporadic E. And sporadic E is happening on 10 meters and on 6 meters, uh, even on 15 meters. And what does that mean? That means turn on your radio to 6 meters and you never know what you might work. Uh, they call it the magic band. And that's for a reason. You don't need a lot of power. You don't need a really big antenna and some exciting things have been happening. I know over the weekend, propagation was so good uh, from the eastern part of the U.S. working into Europe. Really? Yeah, working into Europe with sporadic E on six meters. And uh, we've got Victor Echo 7, Papa Alpha Echo. Could you give some examples of how to use the DX Engineering TC3124-4? Uh, DX Engineering Ferrite. Well, I can I can tell you some examples. You wind your power cords around the uh, DX Engineering Ferrite, and that's going to take care of the RFI that might be emitted from LED lights. So about six turns around this ferrite, and that is going to take care of the, it, but it has to be very close to the light. Because any amount of distance to the light is going to be an antenna. So you want this very close to the light. And uh, Amy is on, November 8, Alpha Mike Yankee. And she says, thank you, Tim. Hope the guys call into DX Engineering and talk to my awesome dad, Wayne K. Fox Fox. Thanks very much for being on, Amy. And thank you, Wayne, for taking care of the DX Engineering customers. And here's, here's another uh, DX Engineering team member, K Delta Victor. Hey, team, Tim, lots of Europe on six meters today. Great tip for protecting the antenna analyzer. And Dave, thank you so much for everything you do here at DX Engineering. And it's great to have you on the team. And, uh, you know, guys can call in, talk to Wayne, talk to Dave. It's good stuff. From Italy, it's india kilo one zulu oscar delta nice to have you on and marty says i'm looking into purchasing the yesu dx10 soon what is the best antenna for this ring well marty there's lots of different antennas that you can have um and we have a whole bunch of them at dx engineering and i uh I, the best advice i can give you is 
to call in, talk to one of the team members, and they can point you in the right direction to helping you with an antenna for your FTDX-10. And uh, Ricardo was on. He made a six-meter contact from Florida to Pennsylvania with tuner hooked up to the dummy load, no antenna. <laughs> there you go. And uh, from Bavaria, it's Delta Lima 6, Radio Del Delta Echo is on. So nice to have Germany in the log. And Pat, Whiskey 3, Radio Golf Alpha, love my rig expert. And I'm starting to think I have a ferrite addiction. You know, Pat, being addicted to ferrite is, is <laughs> that's going to lower your noise floor. The bottom line. So no problem at all having a ferrite addiction. And we've got all the ferrite you need here at DX Engineering. Our good friend, Bob, K3 Uniform Lima. Thanks for your ongoing support, Tim, and great products. Bob, always great to hear you on. And uh, your CW is just as good as it was 50 years ago when you started in this hobby. And uh, it just uh, its one of the first times I've seen you here in the chat. So those are the tips for today. Protect your antenna analyzer. And <laughs> read QST because it's, it's good stuff. And uh, let's see here. We've got uh, Kilo Kilo 6 India Popper Radio is on from Fremont, California. I'm buying a rig expert from DX Engineering when I can afford it. It's money well spent. You know, I, I bought this uh, uh, AA230 probably about five or six years ago. And, man, I, I use this every week. It is, uh, it's really good stuff. So you, you can't go wrong. But, uh, you know, we're going to get Jeff off the phones, hopefully for next Tuesday. But we've got great stuff coming up for the Manufacturer's Showcase on Thursday. And then on Friday, it's the weekend special. And we will have a special guest on Friday. So tune in then. Uh, until Thursday, 73 from DX Engineering. <laughs>